Hi guys, welcome back to Looks Life TV and excuse the hot mess that's going on right now. I have um, a really, really bad headache. Uh, it tends to get really bad, especially when there's rain outside. I don't know why this happens to me, so my hair looks like a mess. Otherwise, we are filming in our, uh, in our, <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of like our room because we're all chilling, right? It's my dog. It's probably the mailman. Probably. It's okay. Um, so we're filming in my room again because uh, it's freezing outside and I think this is the perfect light uh, for me to show you my uh, Florentine collection by Dooney and Burke. I do have one, no I, I have two bags that uh, are by Dooney but they're not part of the Florentine collection. I have um, the uh, Dooney and Burke uh, Samba satchel, no actually it's a Samba leather. Um, it looks like the regular Florentine satchel that I'm going to show you first, but it's in that Samba leather and I think they discontinued it. They had it in like a bajillion colors. I have that. Um, oh, if I can, I'll insert a picture. Otherwise, um, I had the Dylan pocket, uh, the pocket sack and the Dylan leather in black. But uh, most of my bags actually are in storage because I like to rotate them per season. So I get to use all of them, and I do have a lot of Dooney and Burke bags, I'll admit. Um, some I have regifted to others, some of them I have sold. So I'm going to show you what I have now. That is purely Florentine because that is my favorite um, collection by Dooney and Burke. So the first bag is right here. This, oh, this is the Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel in the size small, and this is in black. I have this in um crimson and i have it in a lavender but they're in storage right now and it's um those two are the medium size the thing the funny thing about the sizing here is that even though that's the medium size it's actually the largest size they have in the satchel so it goes medium small and i think they have like a mini so this is me the small size but it's actually a medium size bag even though it's like officially called the small satchel and the crimson and the lavender ones that I have they're in the medium size and they're pretty big but this is the one I tend to reach for more so because it's more practical the handles are stuffed inside as you can see one of the uh tassels here are sticking up but that's okay it doesn't bother me and I was lucky enough to find this in completely smooth um Florentine leather and I will talk about why it's important for it to be smooth in a second so this is my Florentine satchel in black. I do love this bag. It holds almost everything that I need. I don't use an organizer or anything. It'll carry my Kindle, um, not my planner, but yeah, I do carry this very often. It's been out in all sorts of weather. So that's that. And my next bag is, uh, this is one of two, is the Dooney and Burke Florentine Russell tote. And this is again in black. I don't know if you can see, but the leather is not smooth. It's kind of pebbled. But this is the small size. And if you want to compare this to like a never full size, I would call this like between a PM and an MM. Um, if you guys want, you guys can check out my video where I did a comparison between the Dooney and Burke uh, Russell tote in the large size. No, I lie. It was a Dooney and Burke Russell tote in the medium size and the MM never full. So I'll link that video down below. This though is a small size and it holds just about everything that I carry. Um, if you've seen my what's in my bag for um, my Speedy 35 or my Speedy 30, it will hold everything in here. That was probably my, one of my first videos I did. It was a Brands on a Budget video where I did a quick what's in my bag. I think it was a Speedy... 30. So this does hold everything. I don't use an organizer or anything in it. Uh, again, I've taken it out in all sorts of weather. This is what the inside looks like. And uh, this is the key keeper. I thought it was leather for a second, but I forgot. Dooney Burke doesn't do the key keeper in leather anymore. But it does have like these extra snaps over here. So it this bag is really, really secure. The only thing is this handle drop can get annoying when you're wearing a fat jacket. Doesn't usually fit, but this is the Russell, uh, the Russell tote. I don't think they make it in a small size. 
I mean, you'd have to find it like pre-loved probably on eBay or something. They do have the medium size and they have it in a lot of colors. So do check that out. But this is a small size. Uh, my next bag, and it's stuffed right now, so don't mind me, is the Kristen Tote in the color Bordeaux. And you can see how beautifully smooth this leather is. It's got two pockets on the side. Well, one pocket on each side. And it's stuffed, so, you know, like kind of uh, ignore the mess. But it's a basically an open pit. And again, the, the handle drop is really small. So it does kind of annoy me because I'm a chunky girl. I wear chunky clothes. <laughs> so it's not going to like fit on my shoulder. Like see, it can, it gets a little uncomfortable, but I do. This is one of my more recent bags, but I love it. I mean, the color is beautiful and look how smooth this leather is. You see that? So this is the Kristen tote and it is massive. It's a massive bag. Um, all right, so up here, you guys have seen this in my last video. This is the Buckley bag in the color natural. And it's still patinaing. Remember, I told you guys how I patina my bags. And um, it's going strong. I do condition it once in a while again. Um, I have to condition it recently. Like, I have to probably condition it in the next few weeks. I don't know what I was trying to say. I almost said recently, but that wouldn't have made any sense. I have to condition this, I think, maybe the next couple of weeks. So if you guys want to see how I do it, it's nothing special. I use, um, and I know everybody's probably going to have, like, an opinion, but the Apple conditioner is good. I have the Kiwi one. Um, the only reason I'm kind of tempted to condition this is the climate in um, New York, obviously, is weird. Um, it's a lot colder than it should be for the fall. But because we have the heating on in the house, I'm kind of worried that this bag's drying out a bit. So I'll add a little bit of conditioner and I'll buff it in. Otherwise, I really don't do anything to these bags. I let them be. But I was lucky enough that this one is also smooth. No pebbling. This is um, my Dooney and Burke. What is this called? The Chelsea Shopper. And this is uh, the North South not the east west the east west bag is a lot bigger this is the north south one and this is also in the color um natural there are a few scratches on it but that's okay i got this pre-loved and i will explain to you why i do pre-loved and why i feel like it's gonna become my thing when it comes to florentine leather i'll explain that in a bit so that was that and finally i'm just gonna make some space here i have I forgot the name of this bag. I think, I don't think it's the bowling bag. I think it's just the Dooney and Burke like duffel. But oh, this is just a uh, name tag, like a luggage tag I got from Leatherology. But yeah, it's my weekender bag. Have it in black. And I have a spare change of clothes in here. Um, this bag really comes in handy if you want to like, you know, go out for the weekend. Maybe an overnight trip. I don't take this traveling only because I find it a bit cumbersome since it doesn't have like a longer strap. If I could shoulder this, I'd be fine. I mean, I can because this is really big, but like, honestly, it's heavy. And because of the width of the bag, it's going to sit really uncomfortably on your shoulder. So yeah, that is, I think it's called the, uh, the bowling bag, I think. But yes, this is in black Florentine leather. And yeah, that's that. Those are all of my um, Florentine leather bags from Zuni and Burke, uh, with the exception of two because they're in storage right now. And um, the thing I was mentioning earlier about the leather having to be smooth, the whole idea behind Florentine leather is that you're paying for really smooth leather. So if you wind up getting a bag that's pebbled, the thing with Florentine is Florentine leather tends to be a bit more expensive. So if you order anything from Dooney and Burke or um, I Love Dooney, I think on eBay, make sure that the leather is smooth. If it's not, I would return it. You don't want pebbled leather. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, these bags get better with age. Like they'll soften. I mean, you guys have seen, oh, I forgot to show you this one, but I showed you this before. The uh, Murphy uh, backpack. This is a size large. They don't do the large anymore. 
or at least um, they don't have the large brand new. I saw this site and um, they only have the medium size for some reason. But um, these do get better with age. They get smushy. They develop a patina. And um, they're amazing bags. The thing is, when you get them new, it's harder to break them in. I feel like going um, preloved is the best route. I feel like you've already gotten a bag that's been broken in. All you gotta do is like, you know, condition it a bit. Like for this, for example, this one, had it been new, it would have been really, really stiff, but it's gotten smushy because it's a pre-love bag. And I feel like you wind up saving money as well. I mean, you can get really good um, secondhand, like pre-owned Florentine bags for a really great price on eBay or even like Tradesy. I have been contemplating the, um, it's not the Smith bag. It looks like the Smith bag, but I think it's like the double strap or the tassel satchel, something like that. Um, can't remember the name of it, but I was contemplating getting that, but I'm like, there's first off, I don't think they make it anymore. And second, um, I don't feel the like need to get a brand new only because these bags, like I said, get softer with age. And I feel you save a lot of money, first off. Second, they're already broken in. So with just a little bit of like TLC, they're going to look amazing. And I really like the worn in look. I don't like them super stiff. Don't get me wrong. If I can find an amazing deal on a brand new bag, why not? But I like, you know, the whole like dist distressed look like this. This is a secondhand bag, actually. And I love it. Um, this, on the other hand, I think was brand new. It's still a little stiff. You know, this still has to like... There's no smile here just yet. Um, it doesn't mean I love it any less, but I really do like the distressed look of the leather. So I would probably go the pre-owned route. Um, I Love Dooney is a pretty decent seller. And like I said, um, if you guys ever do decide to purchase these bags, make sure that they're smooth. You don't want pebble leather because you're paying for smooth Florentine leather. So make sure you guys are aware of that. Um, other than that, I think I've covered... All of my Florentine bags that I have in my possession right now, I have gotten rid of a few of them. And by gotten rid of, I mean I've regifted them. Um, I've sold some. And I think I might have given one or two away, like, to family. Um, the only other bag that I can think of that I still do have is I do have another backpack. It's in the Bordeaux color. Um, it's in the large size, but uh, a friend of mine, I've given it to her to use. And that was actually pebbled. I would have sent it back, but I was out of the country when it arrived, so I kind of missed out on that window of, like, you know, return or exchange. But other than that, most of my bags are smooth. I'm really particular about that. And uh, please do make sure that whenever you do guys, like, whenever you guys do get one of those bags, or any Florentine bag, that it is smooth. A little bit of pebbling is okay, but remember, you're paying that price point, so just make sure your bags are smooth, and if they're not, you have to send them back. I mean, you don't have to. It's up to you, but, like... Florentine is smooth leather. I want a smooth bag. Um, other than that, I think I've covered everything. I've showed you everything I have. And um, yeah, if you guys want like a review on any of these bags, let me know. Or if you want me to show you what it fits, I would be happy to do that. This bag though has been catching my eye a lot lately. Um, I kind of reach for it a bit more because I like the fact that it's kind of a tote, but I don't shoulder the bag. I like to carry it like, you know, just by my hands, like, you know, like this on my side, but it holds a lot and it looks really like, um, I don't want to say fancy. It looks really put together for this time of year. So yeah, I think I'm completely out of breath. I don't know why. I think I've covered everything. I'm trying to check. I don't think I've left out anything. I do have a couple of like SLGs. Um, not many, probably like two or three. I have like a Florentine wallet, I think. And I have, no, no, I have a coin purse. Um, I think they're in storage. Um, and they're also in the natural color. I have a thing for natural because I love the way it ages. Like, especially when it starts to look like this. Do you see the color difference here? Like how patina this is. I love this. So yeah, that is my Florentine collection. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, if there's anything else you'd like to see, any other type of videos you'd like to see, please do leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
And please do subscribe. And I guess I'll see you again next week. Bye.